But hope y'all feeling well. Hope y'all doing okay. I'm doing, I'm doing all right right now. With everything that's been going on, I do feel like things are getting better for me, you know? Because I get to do comedy still. That's fun. I get to travel, tour a little bit. But most importantly, money is back, baby. Money is back. I am doing okay again. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. Not good, not good. But I'm not crying no more, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing, I'm doing all right. Because y'all didn't know this, but early 2020, I had quit my day job and then I went comedy full time, right? And then later in the year, I did not. So you know what I'm saying? I was a little, I was a little scary, but I'm doing fine now, I'm doing fine. Like, I don't know how y'all are doing financially, but I've done at least 30 escape rooms in the past year. That's the kind of, that's the kind of money I got. That's my income. Sometimes I'm going in two a days, like I got GameStop money, you know what I'm saying? Sure, maybe I could have put a down payment on like a house or like a new car, but you know what? Your boy just loves paying to exit buildings. So we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's never been? Who's never been to a room before? Who's never been? Never? You gotta go, go. But the only advice I can give you is if you wanna go, is just go with someone who you can either really communicate well with or someone who you don't care if you lose them out of your life forever. That's <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> Cause it gets intense, it really does, it gets intense. And that's been like my thing recently. If I'm in a new city doing comedy, I'll go do a room earlier in the day, right? Why is that funny? I said I got it like that. Uh, <laughs> but that's my, been my thing. And uh, I was recently out in Austin, Texas and I was in the lobby and I seen a family leave the room and it was just like a mom, dad, two kids and they look super defeated. <laughs> They look real sad. They didn't make it out and it was obvious and that's <laughs> totally fine. It's okay, that happens. But whatever happens, the lady at the front desk would always ask the people that just came out, hey, hey, y'all make, make it out of the room? <laughs> but before she could even finish that sentence, the dad looks into his wife's eyes and was like, no the fuck we did not. <laughs> And then he walked out without them. They <laughs> left separately. How'd they get home? I don't know. But that was so crazy because he didn't say this part after, but everybody in the lobby, we all looked at each other and was like, but he was gonna say, I would have if I didn't have this dumbass family. That's the vibe. <laughs> but it feels good to be out. I just got to see my mom, who I hadn't seen in a very long time for the holidays. That was very nice. Yeah. Yeah, she's great, she's great. Uh, she's an immigrant, she's an immigrant, so she's, she's not from here. She's very, very silly, very goofy, and like the way she does things, you know? Like when I was up staying at her spot, she, did y'all know that they make bleach cleaning wipes in the same packaging as wet wipes for your butt? Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that? And did y'all know my mom puts both of those things next to each other in the bathroom? That's insane. That's wild, you know? And I don't know if she's doing that because she's an immigrant, maybe she don't know any better, or because she's been here so long, that's like a prank for when Andrew comes over. Because <laughs> I did make the mistake. I did make the mistake, of course I did. I used the bleach wipes on my butt. And it hurt quite a bit. But you know what? I'm rocking a white lady butthole and I feel powerful, you know what I'm saying? I can sense oat milk 50 meters away, you know? <laughs> but that's my mom. My mom's very, very silly. She, she moved uh, to the States right before I was born. So in a weird kind of way, we came up as Americans together. Like, I don't know if any of y'all experienced anything like this, but me and my mom, we both got our driver's licenses at the same time. <laughs> And then about a month ago, she started vaping. So it's been real fun <laughs> getting to watch her do her thing, you know? She said her next move is Molly at Coachella. And you know what? You know what? I'll be right there with the orange juice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but my mom, uh, she moved, when she came here, she moved to the Bay Area. She's been in the Bay Area her whole life. So she's 
a very liberal person, like a very liberal lady, almost uh, too liberal. She's a little too, like her thing right now, she's just out there tweeting you a bitch at Ted Cruz like every week, that's her thing. <laughs> Cause she, she a little too old to march, but she will tweet and vape all day. She looks so cool. She's from the, she's from the Philippines. Any, any Filipinos in here? Hey, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> What'd you just say? Oh, you just don't want to just... It be your own people sometimes, you know? You just didn't want to be Filipino anymore. Uh, you Filipino though? I see you. So, Okay, okay, can I can I answer this? When you fill out forms, do you say you're Asian or Pacific Islander? You do Asian? Asian. Non-Latino. Okay. Sure. <laughs> That's, okay, okay, my man's out here scamming. My man's out here scamming. I like that. That's Filipino right there. I like that. I like that. Okay. So what do you say? You said Pacific Islander? You do? Okay. I don't do that. I don't do that. <laughs> I say I'm Asian for the most part. It's just a lot easier. You know, less syllables, right? Easy to fill out. <laughs> But also, I play by my strengths, right? Would I rather look like a normal-sized Asian dude or like some weak-ass Tongan guy? You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> I'm feeling good. It's been a good day for me. Like, before I came out to do this show, I was just out shopping at one of my favorite stores. And since we're taping this, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say who it is. I'm not trying to put their business out there like that. But what I can say is that you could buy, like, outfits in an urban environment. And, <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, it is Urban Outfitters. Who said that? <laughs> it is. And... <laughs> I know they don't have like a slogan or anything like that, but I feel like it should be, yo, you remember that shirt? Your mom got you in middle school? That got you bullied? Well, we made that dope, but you can't afford it. <laughs> but it was crazy because I was in the store and when I was leaving, I had seen the security guard, he had stopped these two girls because he accused them of stealing. And I'm pretty sure they did it. Only because I saw them do it. I saw... <laughs> I saw everything. They stuffed so much shit in a backpack that I had to stop and be like, hey, uh, be humble. Uh, that is a little too much. Continue what you're doing, but that is a little too much. Like, it honestly looked like they were just trying to open up a smaller urban outfit. That's what they were doing. And I saw everything. I saw the security guard. He goes to these two young ladies and he's like, hey, I need to look in that backpack. And then the two girls are obviously like, no. Right? So that's when the manager of Urban rushes over that security guard and he was like, hey, just so you know, the policy we have here is if these two girls don't allow us to look in that backpack, we legally can't look in that backpack and you have to let them go. Yeah. And security guard looks back at him like, why the fuck you hire me? <laughs> and I'm standing next to them laughing pretty hard. Because that's very funny. That's very funny. And also because I put some stuff in there. But... <laughs> but that's when the security guard, he turns to me and he's like, hey, are you hearing this? And I'm like, yeah, I'm coming back with a duffel bag, bro. Because <laughs> what's he gonna do if I come back? Nothing, I'm gonna show up. He's gonna be like, hey, I need to look in that backpack. I'm like, uh-uh, you need to look at that policy is what you need to do. <laughs> coming at me with that disrespect, legally states. I can steal from this store. <laughs> That's how I got this entire outfit you see here today. No, I'm All right, y'all have been fun. Thanks. Bye.